Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. From the early days of remotely piloted aircraft in the 1940s to the present, visionary airmen have pushed boundaries, shaping the future of aerial warfare. Today, we shed light on the MQ-1 drone, one of the most formidable unmanned attack drones ever made. The MQ-1 Predator stands as a formidable armed, multi-mission, medium-altitude, long-endurance, remotely piloted aircraft. Its primary role revolves around intelligence collection, while offering a secondary capability to engage dynamic targets in real time. With extended loiter time, an array of wide-range sensors, a versatile communication suite, and precision weapons, the Predator boasts an unparalleled capacity for strike, coordination, and reconnaissance operations against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Moreover, the MQ-1 excels in a diverse range of missions, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, buddy lassing, buddy lacing, convoy and raid overwatch, route clearance, target development, and terminal air guidance. These remarkable capabilities position the MQ-1 as an indispensable asset for conducting irregular warfare operations, supporting the objectives of combatant commanders. To comprehend the full extent of the Predator's capabilities, it is essential to explore the intricacies of its remotely piloted aircraft system. A complete operational system comprises four sensor weapon-equipped aircraft, a ground control station, the Predator primary satellite link, as well as spare equipment. Additionally, dedicated operations and maintenance crews ensure seamless deployment for 24-hour missions, solidifying the Predator's reliability and effectiveness. The MQ-1 Predator derives its power from a Rotax 914F four-cylinder engine. Generating an impressive thrust of 115 horsepower. With a wingspan measuring 55 feet, a length of 27 feet, and a height of 7 feet, this aerial marvel strikes a commanding presence. Despite its formidable stature, the MQ-1 remains lightweight, tipping the scales at 1,130 pounds when empty and boasting a maximum takeoff weight of 2,250 pounds. Fueling its extended missions, the MQ-1 can carry up to 665 pounds of fuel. Its payload capacity reaches an impressive 450 pounds. allowing for the integration of various essential sensors and weapons. Mm -hmm. 
Operating within a range of 675 nautical miles, the Predator maintains a cruise speed of approximately 84 miles per hour. With the ability to reach a top speed of 135 miles per hour. Behind the scenes of every successful MQ-1 mission lies a dedicated team of maintenance members responsible for upholding the aircraft's impeccable condition. As an integral part of the overall operational process, these skilled individuals carry out essential pre-flight inspections on the Predator UAV before each mission. The pre-flight inspection is a meticulous procedure which involves a comprehensive examination of the MQ-1 to guarantee its airworthiness and readiness. Maintenance members meticulously inspect every aspect of the UAV, checking for any signs of wear, damage or potential issues that could compromise its performance. When the moment calls for decisive action, the MQ-1 Predator proves its worth as a formidable combat asset. Armed with two laser-guided AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, this unmanned aerial vehicle demonstrates its capacity to deliver precision strikes on designated targets. Building upon the success and capabilities of the MQ-1 Predator, the MQ-9 Reaper emerged in the 2000s as a testament to continuous innovation and advancement. Taking its inaugural flight in 2007, the MQ-9 Reaper represents a significant leap forward in unmanned aerial systems. Developed as a more advanced and capable successor to the Predator, the Reaper has become the focal point of airstrikes and various combat missions. The MQ-9 Reaper encompasses a range of enhanced features and technologies that empower it to excel in the demanding realm of modern warfare. With upgraded systems, improved endurance, and expanded mission capabilities, the Reaper stands as a testament to the relentless pursuit of excellence in unmanned aviation. In the world of unmanned aerial systems, the MQ-1 Predator and the MQ-9 Reaper stand as remarkable achievements. While both aircraft share some similarities, the Reaper was purposely designed to be a more advanced and capable UAV, specifically tailored for combat missions. Let's explore the distinguishing features that set the Reaper apart and elevate its performance to new heights. When it comes to speed, the Predator reaches a maximum of 84 miles per hour. While the Reaper pushes the boundaries, soaring at impressive speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. The increased velocity of the Reaper allows for swift response times and rapid maneuverability in dynamic combat situations. Payload capacity is another area where the Reaper shines. While the Predator can carry up to 450 pounds, the Reaper boasts an exceptional payload capacity of up to 3,000 pounds.
This substantial increase empowers the Reaper to carry a diverse array of mission-specific equipment. Each weapon is carefully loaded onto the aircraft's hardpoints, adhering to strict safety protocols and ensuring proper alignment and synchronization with targeting systems. The assembly process of the MQ-9 Reaper is a meticulous endeavor that transforms individual components into a fully functional unmanned aerial system. Skilled technicians carefully integrate airframe sections, wings, avionic systems, engines, sensors, and weapons to ensure the Reaper's reliability and performance. Rigorous quality checks and testing procedures guarantee that the final product meets the highest standards of functionality and safety. This swift and controlled departure marks the beginning of its mission, where it will unleash its capabilities and contribute to the success of critical operations with agility and versatility. During the Joint Force Multinational Combat Exercise of Northern Strike 19, the MQ-9 Reaper made its historic debut, taking to the skies of Alpena, Michigan. Assigned to the 214th Attack Group of the Arizona Air National Guard, the Reaper conducted training sorties in support of this prestigious exercise at the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center from July 21st to August 2nd, 2019. Northern Strike 19, sponsored by the National Guard, brought together service members from over 20 states, multiple service branches, and various coalition countries. The Camp Grayling Joint Maneuver Training Center and the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center, both operated by the Michigan National Guard, served as the locations for this accredited Joint National Training Capability exercise. As the MQ-9 Reaper took part in this dynamic exercise, it demonstrated its capabilities and effectiveness in real-world training scenarios. The deployment of the Reaper highlighted its role as a valuable asset in achieving mission success and further solidified its position as the leading force in modern warfare. In contrast to traditional aircraft, the control of drones takes a unique approach, relying on the assistance of flight simulators. Remotely piloted aircraft aircrew, composed of skilled pilots trained for this specialized work, engage in simulated missions within the confines of an MQ-9 Reaper cockpit. These flight simulators provide an immersive and realistic environment replicating the experience of operating a drone in various scenarios. The integration of drones aboard the U.S. Army has ushered in a new era of unmanned aviation. From their development and evolution to their impressive technical specifications and capabilities, these drones have showcased their significance and effectiveness on the battlefield. With the MQ-9 Reaper's advancements in speed, altitude, payload capacity, and power, it stands as a more advanced and capable successor to the MQ-1 Predator specifically designed for combat missions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. 
See you next time.